Hey folks, how are you going? Uh, Skypilot here today, something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys uh, how to make a pretty basic, uh, simple movie from your raw data uh, using Video Studio Ultimate 2018. As you can see, I could upgrade to the 2019 for $77, which I'm not going to do. Uh, so, this program, it looks quite daunting and confusing. At first, however, uh, it's pretty easy to use once you've used it a couple of times. So, once you start the program, you simply go to your edit, and then you go to your current, and as you can see, I've got some snapshots from my previous movie I made. So, you'll be presented with the screen here. You can actually move all these windows around a bit. So, when you first open it, you're presented with this screen here. Your screen may be slightly different as you can adjust the way you see everything here. So, these bars come down, these bars move across to make your viewing picture smaller or larger. Um, I suggest something similar to this, um, either the picture over to the left or right, your running slides down the bottom here. These, of course, can be added to and taken away from. You can have extra overlays, extra music tracks, extra voice tracks. So it's um, quite user-friendly. So in the center here, you've got your folder where you drag all your gear from. So you've got your pictures and your music. I've created a new one. It's simply a matter of if you want to add a new folder, just click on the Add. Um, so you can have, ultimately, as many as you want down here. Um, to add a folder, you select the plus folder here. So once you hit open, they open up here on the screen. So it's a bit of a road trip that I went on recently. So I'm going to be making a quick video of my road trip here. So you present it with all your photographs here. simply a matter of first dragging down your your intro double clicking on the intro brings up a new screen where you can edit your intro um, and do whatever you want with it so what I what I tend to do is just to speed that up a bit um, over here is your preview pane so if you ever want to look at what's going on Get your preview pane there. So I just want to show a couple of tanks there, so I'll stick that where I want it. Use our cropping tool here, which is our pair of scissors. Highlight any pieces of footage that you don't want. Click on the delete. And you can just drag through it just to see what you're looking at. So we'll crop that there. This is going to be really short, sharp and shiny, guys. So. Um, yeah, definitely a, a D-rate movie. Bit of scenery, so I don't want that. So, an old burnt-out car that I came across. So I'll definitely put that in there. See if you guys can guess what sort of car that is. So that's going to stick in there. Now, if you want to make your timeline a bit smaller, you simply just hit the negative there and it shrinks it down, which is pretty cool. So there we have our burnt out car. I've got a couple of short bits of the burnt out car. So I'm just going to stick all of those in. We'll make sure it's something semi interesting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Of course, when you play it, Using uh, the play button, you get sound as well. So I don't think I was talking much, so there'll be no sound there. Let's shrink our timeline down a little bit more. So down the bottom of here, you've got a sliding bar. You can quick drag it left and right if you want. And I think we'll finish off with a big boat. Yes, we'll finish off with the big boat. 
So let's put the big boat video in. Which I'll just cut it there. Have a quick play. There's the big boat video. Right, so I'll stop it there. I'll zoom in a bit. I shall cut the end, end of it off because I don't want it. So what I want to do now is do a bit of a slow-mo of the boat so that we've got more time to look at it. So all you do is simply click on the scissors, select the part you want to slow down. That'll do us. Oh, it's pretty much at the end there. So we click on that or double click and you'll see your speed time lapse up here. So you click on the speed time lapse and you can drag this slow or fast. So I normally sit around the all around the 20, 25, 30 mark. Okay, you'll see that stretch out. So stick our bar back over here, which is where it starts the video from. So normal play, then comes the slow mo. Don't ask me how they got their boat there, I've got no idea. And it's as simple as that. Just double clicking on a video brings up these options here. You've got your speed time lapse, which I've done. Up here, you can fade in and out music. This is where you actually mute the video clip. Uh, you can multi trim it, you can actually zoom in as well. Um, you can pan and zoom, which is pretty cool. So I could do a slight zoom in on the slow mo, that's possible. So we get to the spot we want. I'll say there. We'll do a quick cut because that's the area we want to zoom in on. Okay, I'll do another cut there. So what we do with this area that I've cut, I'm actually going to make it a little bit slower again. And I'm going to do a pan and zoom. So what the pan and zoom does, we'll do a customised pan and zoom. It opens up a new window so you can actually select the area you want to zoom in on. And all this here you can play with, but you know what, I just hit the OK and it works out perfectly. So we'll go back to our slow-mo video preview. We'll come up to the zoomed in part and here we have it. Slower and zoomed in on the J153. What I'll do now is I'll just stick an ending on. Not a very happy ending though. This is a uh, little memorial site where somebody died. Again, this will be a perfect one for a little bit of slowing down and a little bit of zooming in so we can actually see what's going on there. Unfortunately, it's the harsh reality of our roads. People die all the time on them, especially uh, out in the country. So there we have a slow-mo and a zoom in. Uh, down the road. It looks pretty good. It's not really of anything. I think there's some uh, there's a bit of a wind farm up there. So I'll make it a quick ride down the road. So obviously our speed bar goes the other way. Now these icons down the center here We'll just bring up our other pane. These actually allow you to transition your videos. So easily put a transition in there. It's basically just a matter of grabbing it and dragging it down. And then playing it and have a look at the finished product. It's pretty cool. We'll have a look at the next one over here. Have a quick look at it. Much better. So that's easily how you add transitions. Put some text on. So you'll double click. Okay, so you've got loads of different types of um, fonts and effects and all that sort of stuff. I'll keep it pretty simple, so I'll just select that one. Yep, that looks good. Drag it. So mouse click and drag it down there. It'll pop up. I'm just going to say just a ride into the country.
And of course, you can drag that and do whatever you want with it. And it has these cool little lines that pop up to let you know you're nice and lined up. So again, we'll just stick that back there. Hit the play. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all these others here do a different effects again. So this this program has a million different types of effects and cool things you can do. Of course, it wouldn't be complete without a bit of music. So this is my music folder. I've got some uh, some free music here. So we can select, have a listen. Sounds awesome. So we drag that down to uh, our music area down here. I'm going to stick it past my intro because you don't want that to clash with the intro. Again, double click on it. We'll bring in the fade in, fade out. And of course the music we don't want too loud. So I'll stick it on 50 and have a bit of a listen. That's a good sound. Not too loud. Was he turning your videos down a lot? But what I will do is I will lower the noise of the camera here because that is quite frustrating. So I'll stick all of that on 50. Of course, you have to do each individual video clip. You can highlight them all, but I find it's just as easy just to select each one, stick it on 50 so it's a nice quiet sound. Great. I'm pretty happy with that, so I should have my intro down to 20 because it's really loud. Okay, so we hit play, a bit of intro buzzes through, followed by some tanks and some music and the title of what's going on. So you just sit here and we'll just play through it. transition those though. Often when you sit and watch your video, when you're getting the end of it, you think, you know what, just a transition here. Or you might want to music or some pictures or do it. It's pretty cool. I won't sit through all of that. Something I like to do um, at the end is add a little effect at the end of the show. So the star with a film opens up a whole load of windows and things you can stick at the end so we'll just pick a pretty simple one here um, I know it says beginning and end but you can have the you can have the beginning at the end that's not a problem we'll stick a little TV up I think that's pretty cool so takes a second to load it up so I'll just hold it over here dump it down I think I'll get rid of these, this transition at the end. Oh, I made a mistake, that's okay. I can hit the undo button. Of course, with any picture, you can actually put your own picture there, so. You can stick a picture in here that I have put earlier. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I think I'll just stick in my um, Sky Polar thumbnail, so again, drag it down. Stick it where you want it. And what you can actually do is the orange squares just do a uh, enlarge. However, you can use the green ones and you can actually drag it down to the corners. Okay, so we're going to stick our music ending just here. So I shall cut the music there. Make sure there's no files left up here. That's cool. So I'm going to have that picture last the entirety. And this is the picture you'll be left with at the end so you can stick your um, your end screen channel tags up the end here. A nice blank space for them. Pretty simple. And Guys, it's as simple as that.
as I said, it looks quite complicated, but it's pretty easy. I did say I'd chuck a photo in, so I might just put down my subscribe, comment, share, and like picture. So stick that anywhere. I'll say put it once that movie there's started. And again, once it's there, you can put it wherever you want. You can make it whatever size you want. So I'll start up the top here. You can twist it in and out and you can fade it. What I do is bring it down and move it to the right. So that will give the effect of it sliding down and twisting and then spinning to the right. Of course, if you want it to come down to the middle, you start four or three quarters down, you place the video there and what will happen is it will spin down from the top, stop there and then she'll spin away over there. And of course if you want it to go a little bit slower then just make it a little bit longer. Down she comes. What's that? Ah, subscribe like there, no props. Terrific. Okay, I'll minimize it and there you can see I've just created a video. It's about a minute 55 seconds long. Added some videos, added some pictures, put in a start and an ending. Simple as that, guys. This is a really cool program. The more you use it, the better you get at it. Um, there's a lot of things you can do on here I haven't even done yet. I've only been using this program for a few months. So I'm still learning. You got any cool tips for me? Hand them over. <laughs> More than happy. Otherwise, um, yeah, drop us a comment. Drop us a thumbs up. Drop us a uh, subscribe or even a like and a share. And thanks for dropping by. Something different. I might go outside and fly a drone now. And don't forget to check out the finished product because I'm now going to whack on the share button and I'm going to share it, which is under the settings of the MPEG-4 and 1920 by 1080, 30p, 15 megabits a second. I find that's the best picture. It's um, not too large, but not too small. Uh, the file size for this video is 218 meg, so more than ample for a YouTube video. I hit start and renders away. Great stuff. Don't forget to check out the finished product as I said it'll come up shortly after this video I think and it's been a pleasure. See you later on. Skypilot signing out.